Welcome back guys to another Steam Deck video and a community member has made super cool glow in the dark Steam Deck buttons and we're going to take a look at them and talk about them in this video but before we do please like the subscribe click the subscribe Click the like, click the subscribe, and click the bell icon for more Steam Deck content on your YouTube homepage every single day. And also check the link in the video description for my favorite Steam Deck accessories. I've collated them into a nice little list for you on Amazon. Um, and I'm always adding stuff to it. So go check it out, go bookmark it. Let's get into it. So guys, a community member makes custom glowing Steam Deck buttons and wait till you guys see these. All right, because they're super cool. An inventive Steam Deck user creates a full set of custom glowing buttons for the device, highlighting one of the problems with the current model. Um, so one of the latest customizations created for the Steam Deck is a full set of custom face buttons that glow in the dark. Though Valve's handheld gaming PC isn't yet available worldwide, it has taken a world by storm, with many owners deciding to tweak their devices to fulfill particular niches. Sometimes this includes straightforward upgrades to the existing baseline. Namely, the Steam Deck has no backlight functionality for any of its control options by default. Although, let's be honest guys, which handheld does have backlight, backlit buttons on it? Not many, not even the Nintendo Switch does, unless you mod it specifically with those from like a kit from Etsy or something. But, um... But yeah, but the, well, this seem, may, may not seem usually important an issue to some people. Its unique control scheme does mean that newcomers could have a hard time coming to grips with some of its keys. And one deck owner has decided to take it upon themselves to try and resolve this potential problem again. When was this ever a problem? When did somebody pick up their PlayStation Five or Xbox controller and be like, "I can't see the buttons"? It's <laughs> You know that by off by heart, right? The Steam Deck is no different. The Steam Deck controls aren't that much different from a regular controller, besides maybe the back buttons. But glow in the dark buttons are still cool. All right, let's not dismiss them altogether. So here we are. After the biggest subreddit de dedicated to the Valve's handheld went through on a small panic with many Steam Deck owners warning against vinyl skins of a particular kind, other kinds of customization have taken the limelight instead. Specifically, Sloiters, <laughs> Sloiters? resin printed key replacements have been making the rounds as of late, with them replacing the D-pad and the face keys with glow in the dark alternatives. Sloiter mentioned that they used strontium al aluminate mixed with resin during the printing process which is the same type of powder that's used to eliminate some wristwatch hands and our marks and here it is here's the glow in the dark buttons so if you don't know what resin printing is basically it's a form of 3d printing and instead of printing things layer by layer on the vertical well layer by layer from the bottom up um, with PLA filament resin printing is basically uh, a little laser screen inside the bottom of a tub um, and you fill the tub full of resin liquid and then basically a print bed comes down, soaks itself in the resin and the little laser screen at the bottom starts basically lasering and hardening the resin liquid as the bed gets pulled up and then you get a really high definition, quality, precise 3D print. Way more precise, way more accurate and way more awesome looking than a normal FDM layer by layer PLA print. Um, Maybe I'm going into the weeds a little bit too much for those of you that don't know 3D printing. But there we go. Here it is. The colored buttons. And it looks pretty cool. It looks like he's just written A, B, X, Y on the actual buttons. But that's still pretty cool. There it is. Very nice. It looks like the buttons stick out a hell of a lot more than the normal the normal buttons, right? Correct me if I'm wrong here. They look a little bit janky at the top too. Maybe he needs to print them again a little bit cleaner this time. But that's pretty cool. Is this something you guys would be interested in? Do you think we're going to see these on Etsy possibly that we could buy or eBay even? Because I know there's a market right now for a bunch of different handheld consoles. The Mayu Mini, for example. People love the Mayu Mini. It's basically a little handheld retro con a little handheld console that can play emulator emulators and a bunch of old systems. And people have went out their way because they love that system so much. They went out their way to design custom buttons for it and they sell them on Etsy so I'm wondering if we're gonna see that for the Steam Deck or maybe even see some big companies like JSOCs make custom button configs for the Steam Deck because we already know they're doing the transparent back plates and we're gonna be talking about that in a future video today so keep an eye open for that one but yeah let me know what you think about this would you have a glow-in-the-dark Steam Deck button or would that distract you or annoy you a little bit when you're playing in bed at night in the dark? Maybe the only thing you want to see is the screen, right? You don't want to see a bunch of glowing buttons next by it. But um, the end result is neat. Temporary, a temporary glowing effect that can certainly prove handy in extremely dark conditions. Slaughter did say, however, that the current iteration of their custom glowing keys is far from perfect as they ended up damaging the deck's 
casing while installing them. With how fast Steam Decks are now shipping, getting a new device is no longer a big of a problem as it used to be, but hardly anyone would want to unnecessarily break their shiny new gaming hand handheld. Um, so yeah, we might start seeing these in the future from companies like JSOX, but don't be fooled, all right? It's not an easy process. At least I don't think it is. Taking apart the Steam Deck, taking out the, uh, the motherboard, all that, taking out the fan, the cooling assembly, etc., etc. you're gonna have to take out a lot of screws um, and it's not for the faint of heart, all right? So don't get too excited. It's not just a case of slapping some new buttons in. It is kind of a bit of a tedious task, all right? It's one thing changing the SSD. It's a whole other thing, taking the whole thing apart to replace the buttons. That's a pretty big, pretty big endeavor but anyways yeah let me know in the comments if you're interested in glow in the dark buttons for your steam deck to me i think it'd be a bit a little, a little bit distracting i already know where the buttons are i mean come on if you've played games in the past 15 20 years you're pretty familiar with the d-pad on the left d-pad on the left and buttons on the right okay i mean Come on, it's not that hard. It's not that difficult, is it? It's not that difficult. So anyways, let me know what you think in the comments anyway. If you love Steam Deck content, and you want to see more of your YouTube homepage every day, please click the like, click the subscribe, and click the bell icon, most importantly, so you get notified. And check the link in the description, at the bottom of the Check the link at the bottom of the description for all my favorite Steam Deck accessories. I've always, I'm always updating it, always adding cool things. If you want to take your Steam Deck to the next level, go check it out right now. And um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful day. I love you and I appreciate you. Blaze2K signing off. Take care. Bye.